Another season of Game of Thrones. Tyler and Raven are with me. Matt wants to be a bum because he has 30 jobs. <laughs> uh, he said he said he'll be back next week. Um, if you all make sure you go vote in our bracket, our liquor bracket, as you know, me and Matt have a liquor bracket. If you go to Bractify.com and put in 187 proof tournament, it'll pop up. We're voting on the best liquors of all time pre 30s. So before you had turned 30, before you understood what real, what real liquor was and what wasn't. Well, you didn't know any better. You didn't know any better. You just heard maybe, you just saw another person drinking something or what you had access to. <laughs> so When you picked based on the color. Yeah. Some people I'll did. have the blue one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like, I, dr- I drank Cosmos, like, when I first turned 21. Cause I thought oh, of, wow. That's a girl drink. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. I, just saw, I, just, I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm full of scotch. I didn't know. I was just like, okay. Because I, I was with some. I was an life? internship. I smart. Yeah, no, I, I was with some. I was on an internship, and I was like, they were everyone was ordering stuff. I was like, yeah, let me get a Cosmo. <laughs> I just heard it. I didn't even know what was in it. I just ordered a Cosmo. So everybody was looking at me like, I'm like, yeah, you know. I saw all the black dudes in college drink Long Island iced tea. Yeah, but I was with people from work. I didn't want them oh. to be like, oh, what's up with this ratchet shit that you drink? I don't want to. You're fighting the stereotype. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be like, no, Hennessy and Coke. I don't want to do nothing like that. So I was like, what sounds real, like, good? That yeah, I would metropolitan. Know. Yeah, cosmopolitan. There you go. <laughs> and like, so like, and it came out in the glass. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. Can I get a tequila shot, yeah. Chaser, please? <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, I know. I said, can you put this in like another glass, like in like a regular cup? Like and he's like, yeah, I got you, man. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> I don't want no no ass on on my glass. I see you guys aren't drinking your wine. Is there any reason? For that? <laughs> Is there any reason why you're worried? Yeah, about right, it? right, right, right. <laughs> Notice I don't have a glass. Yeah, right, right, right. And you tell me I don't drink on during the week now. Mm-hmm. So we we back with another season. I, you know, the North remembers. Yes, they do. Um, great, what cold, great cold open. Yeah, yeah. Love that. Yeah, what? When y'all first saw it, did y'all think it was like a flashback to something else, or you know immediately what was going on? I knew immediately what was going on. I was trying to figure. At first, I was like, maybe they. I thought they were going to show what happened. Like as a re- like what happened right before right last before the time. red wedding no or right yeah before but she did that like right before Arya got okay. yeah like maybe he was talking to people and then everyone left and then she she killed ah, him. yeah okay. I thought it was maybe just a little bit back and then the actor yeah. and I'm blanking on his name he did something with his face I was like nah that's all right yeah yeah which I thought was a great performance because oh, he's playing yeah. somebody else playing the character that he played and he did enough different in the performance that you could tell. Yeah. yeah. Which was it's great. Brilliant. I don't know. I don't I don't know if I've seen that guy before. He's probably one of those. Yeah, he's been in a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um I think isn't he's in it, Harry Potter. Yeah, he's the guy that played the like, gender dude, right? Yeah, but like every British actor is in yeah. Harry Potter. <laughs> so, so that's like yeah. throwing throwing something against the wall, like Yeah. Um I mean so I liked so, that. It was it was Fun. I don't know if you watched the little HBO feature. Yeah, afterwards, yeah, but yeah, they didn't yeah. like they didn't plan on starting with that. But mm-hmm. I thought oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I watched them. Watched, and they said they also didn't plan on. They were supposed to be at the end at first, right? That, that I don't remember, but it might have been. It, it would have made sense at the end. It was a pretty badass moment though. Oh, for yeah. Her. Oh, I mean, you've yeah. been kind of like waiting for her to. Evolve into to a the badass theory, yeah. like so many other characters are. And she I mean, made, she Bran, made it. Bran is like thirty-five years old too. That's the problem. They should, I was thinking about they should have did all his scenes earlier. Oh, he's yeah. like thirty-five oh, he years old now. Older. Like he's like thirty-five. He's a grown-ass man. Right. Yeah. Because I'm trying to figure <laughs> out how much time is supposed to. Have it's passed. only like, a, like two years. Two he, years. Why is he's he, thirty-five years old now? <laughs> 
And you remember, it was one whole season. He wasn't on one whole season. Yeah, yeah, they just like, left him out. <laughs> and, and he comes back with a deep-ass voice, like, can you help me with that? He's, He's like, like <laughs> she's shaving. dragging him along his shaving. shaving. <laughs> well, why is Cersei's hair still like that? Does she just like this haircut now? Because I was hoping that that might be a good thing. I think she wants to be like, more of a manly. I think it's, it's more her to like attach to be more manly and kingly. Hmm. It's, it's her murder, Bob. Yeah. Ah, I see. <laughs> I see. So I guess let's go with Arya first. We can start with her. That was, that, did y'all even know who that dude Ed Sheeran was? You know, he was the one that oh, was singing. Oh, Ed Sheeran, yeah. That was the one singing. Yeah, when I she never, caught like, him in the woods. Yeah, yeah I never I knew who that was. Oh, I recognized yeah. his voice immediately. Yeah. yeah. I, was like, I, was like, I, didn't, I was like, what did they do? I was like, nobody could sing that good in Westeros. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's going on here? <laughs> they, oh, he's a guest star. Okay. Mm-hmm. They've done that a couple other times. Um, the bands at the weddings have all been... Yeah, because wasn't oh, really? the guy from Coldplay at the Red the, Wedding? The drummer from Coldplay yeah. was at the Red Wedding. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Really? So, yeah, so. he's in the he's in the band. And then at the what are they? The Purple Wedding is that what they call it? Mm-hmm. Pretty big. Yeah. Um, that's an Icelandic band called Sigur Ross that oh, was oh, performing. Oh wow! See, I didn't know that. And that's then like some little nuggets, some Eastern. Yeah, yeah, and then there's this uh, metal band from Atlanta called Mastodon. Which is an awesome metal band. If you like, metal. I've heard I've heard of them before. They're, yeah. they're really good. Um, but they played Wildlands, which was funny because like they didn't uh-huh. have to like do anything to them because like they already <laughs> had like, crazy, oh, yeah, hair, <laughs> big ass beards and everything. So they just That's put like, clothes yeah, on them. Like, yeah, we only got to put it on, on you. You get yeah. to go. But they're just kind of in the background. This was like, oh, holy shit! It's Ed Sheeran. Yeah, yeah. He had speaking lines and everything. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah I, he did. I guess they did that because the actress that plays Arya is a huge Ed Sheeran fan. Oh. And they've been trying to get him on for a while to surprise her, and they finally were able to do it, which I oh, thought was kind of cool. That's cool. I thought that was kind of cool. Do you think like, she's going to kill all of them, though? Uh, <laughs> probably not. Because they're all Lannisters, though. Yeah. yeah. They shared food with her. And, she didn't get no fucks, man. Yeah. <laughs> but, but she made it such a big deal that like the phrase broke the food and wine thing and they shared their food and their right. wine. Yeah. So I thought that scene was kinda like she's just gonna give him a pass just this once. Right. right. Like if I see you again it's on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like if I have to, I'll kill you. But this time we're okay. Mm-hmm. Which I thought was kind of a nice little scene. There hasn't been one of those, it doesn't feel like in kind of a while where you just sort of check in with how ordinary it is. Yeah, <laughs> instead of something yeah. drama going on, some drama going on. Yeah. yeah, no, there were a lot of nice little comedic or normal moments in this episode. And Tyler and I were just talking before you got here about the scene with um, Samwell when he's with pouring the out the shit. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> I, I was like, look, <laughs> I was watching it with Brandon uh, Williams and uh at his boy Aaron Crib and they couldn't take it. They were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they were like, oh, I was like, man, y'all know how many crazy things I've seen on a movie or TV. This yeah. ain't nothing. They like no. disembowel yeah, people. Like, you see that yeah, people's heads get cut off? Here? Yeah, people's heads. Somebody's dick got cut off a few seasons ago, and now you don't care about this. No. <laughs> this ain't nothing. Yeah. What y'all think about Jor Mormont being in that scene though? Yes, that was exciting. Yeah. To see. So is that where he went to go get healed? Mm-hmm. Is that what? Because he just thought those the maesters are like maybe mm-hmm. they can heal me. Yeah, because that's what um, Daenerys commanded him to do to yeah. heal himself. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's working though. Oh, he's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I liked how subtle it was. I liked yeah. that it was just his voice and then his profile, right. mm-hmm. and it wasn't like the big like, oh, by the way, folks, <laughs> yeah. this is who sure. this is, right. <laughs> and you know they. They reward you when you're paying attention, yeah. which I, I appreciate. And, I but, I mean, if you look close, that he had Dragon, I guess Dragon, Dragonstone has all the ice, and he can cure um, his disease. Oh. That's how, was the little girl? Uh, Shireen. Shireen got Shireen. cured. Mm-hmm. That's how people believe she got cured is from the mm-hmm. dragon glass. Mm-hmm. And maybe they're going to connect that all somehow with Samuel being there mm-hmm. and all that, but. I don't know. It's going to be an exciting season, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Euron Greyjoy came in with a velour s- jumpsuit on. Uh, <laughs> like, I was like, this dude came in. He, he didn't act like he was visiting no queen. He came in with like a velour jumpsuit. That like, was not like a velour jumpsuit. No, no. He, like he was Puff Daddy. It was like he was like Puff Daddy on an episode of like uh, Making the Band. He just came I, in there like, I'm going to shut the studio he, down, y'all. I, I thought he looked like a roadie for my chemical romance. <laughs> is what I thought he looked. Well, like he didn't yeah. look like he was like visiting a, like the queen of all. Like he looked like it was very relaxed outfit. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, was, I think he went up there trying to be sexy. I mean, he got a haircut. He looks like he's like, he way. Like, he got or maybe he's like, I just got out the car. Maybe he's like, I just got out the car and go visit a girl or something. I just, got, I just drove four hours to see you, okay? Right. It was definitely <laughs> the new casual Westerosi menswear line. <laughs> oh, it was real oh, casual. Yeah. He it definitely was... could have stepped right into the century. Nobody would. <laughs> yeah, you would have known that twice. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have really noticed. What I think is interesting about this season overall, that you mentioned being excited for this season, and I definitely am, I'm a little worried. I started thinking about it today. And we've had six years now of all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And we have 12 episodes left. Mm -hmm. And we have a war. And it's like if somebody made um, like a documentary like miniseries or I guess full series about World War II and World War II didn't start until, like, the back half of the last season, basically. Oh, okay. You know, because we've had so much of the prelude. And, you know, we've got we've got the Greyjoys and their fleet of ships that they apparently built overnight. Yeah. Which I thought was crazy. crazy. And, I, and, where they get these, and, and where did they get all the extra men from? Because yeah. I thought um, yeah. his sister Theon took, and, and Theon and Theon took like half yeah. of them. Last I saw was this little stone <laughs> island with like no food and, on and it. And 50 yeah. guys. And, and no trees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but, you know, setting aside the... the that, <laughs> like, so you've got that army. You've got Danny just... Landed in Westeros finally, which was awesome. Um, but she had already John, landed before. Take it, she, went, she was in Dorne. Yeah, true, true. Um, but I guess like staking a foothold, maybe. Well, no, where she was born at. That's yeah. well, that's why I was oh, thinking. Yeah, that's yeah. where she was born at. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but she's like taking that, taking that castle, and so you've got all these armies, and we still are clearly going to have some conflict between them. But then you've got the. Ice zombie army coming down from the north, and that's the real fight that actually matters. Yeah. <laughs> but we've only got twelve episodes left. Yeah, like you said, will it be rushed? Fit it all in. Yeah, I'm a little worried that you know, and they might do the thing like they do in the Hobbit, where they totally. And actually, I never saw the movies, but like in the book, where you just kind of like miss the last battle because Bilbo gets knocked unconscious right. and misses yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in I the movie, they showed it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah they might. They might either skip a lot of that or shorthand it, but I just don't see... It's maybe going to be just one battle and not a full-scale war because... We don't have time. I don't think we have time for war. Yeah. Well, I think there are rumors that some of the episodes may be two hours long. Well, next season, uh, it'll be an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Uh, hour and a half next season. Okay, yeah, and that, that'll, help them, <laughs> that'll help them stretch it. Mm-hmm. Um, so they might be able to do it, and I'm sure they've planned the whole thing out. Yeah. These guys aren't idiots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but it it's just a little bit like... Everything we've seen, because like up until she put her hand in the sand, you could argue everything else we've seen up until that point in time was just the prologue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the real. This is the real. This is it. This is why we've been watching this story, you know. And so I get that a big part of it's like you know that life's a journey, not a destination, kind of thing. And the story is about the journey, not just the destination. But I'm a little worried that we're all going to end up kind of disappointed by how it ends. Just because the build-up has been so awesome. But the build-up was necessary, because now you, ha- you you care about the characters. True. That's, yeah, that's very true. And everybody is rooting for somebody. Yeah. It says it's supposed to be bittersweet. It's supposed to be bittersweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can, that, which makes sense. It's in line with everything else he's ever done. Yeah. You know, here's, <laughs> exactly. here's, a, here's a nice moment and some murder. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so I guess we, let's, we can go with Jon Snow and what's going on in uh, the north. We can start We can start a little bit there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's interesting that I got, like, Sansa, like, talking crazy. Like, I got it from both. I got both of their perspectives on that. Mm-hmm. Like, I understood both of them where they're coming Absolutely, from. Like, yeah. I understood where John was like, yo, you didn't have to say that in front of everybody. Like, you could have, like, right. waited to that. Like, I didn't, yeah. like, you could right. just, like, kick me in the leg. Like, hey, you know. Yeah. Right. Don't here. undermine yeah. me in, yeah, front in front of, of all everybody. these people. Yeah. 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 And she's looking like Cersei right now, too, from season one and two and three, which scares me. Yeah. Her hair is just like Cersei. Oh, well, she yeah. looks on a wig. What's going on? Yeah, she's, just, I think it's intentional for her looking like, because she kept on saying, like, you like you look like you admire her. Remember hmm. you said that line, yeah, too? Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, and I'm like, dude, she looks like she learned a lot from her. Yeah. Which me, you know makes I mean it makes sense she's got mm-hmm. not, she's not an admirable person but she definitely has qualities that you could learn from if you're mm-hmm. in that kind of a position. Yeah, I think um, she thinks she hasn't gotten the respect that she deserves for helping win that battle against 
Ramsey. Yeah. I mean, but she just made a call, though. Mm-hmm. That's all she did. It's not like well, she had mixed feelings about because she could have <clears> just told John, and maybe fewer people would have died if she said, "Hey, let's wait a day. Somebody's yeah. coming to help us out." Yeah, we've got this whole other <laughs> group group Calvary too, a whole Calvary right. too. <laughs> yeah, the way she sat on that information. I mean, he's in, mm-hmm. he's running the army, which she acknowledges. You know, she says, "You are the." You know, you're the military here. Mm-hmm. And you think you'd like him to have all the information that he might need in order to make a decision like that. <laughs> Although I, that whole fight was was really it was really cool. It was awesome TV. It was great mm-hmm. character conflict. It was not his finest moment as a tactical commander in the field. Oh no, yeah. no. <laughs> it was yeah. total Braveheart. That's all. Yeah. It was a straight yeah, Braveheart. Exactly. Like, just, just, that was just exactly all just right. straight Braveheart. Just, we just go. We just just gonna. I'm just gonna use all pure emotion. I'm gonna just lay down as many people as I can yeah. until I die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And Sansa warned him not to do that. Yeah. Which but just is, tell me, like, hey, just chill out for like a day. You know, this mm-hmm. dude I used to kind of mess with. I kind of like him. <laughs> He's gonna come through. You don't. You don't like him. So how does Trust she me feel about Littlefinger? How does she really feel about him? She's going to give him some, but I think she's going to like give him some because she's got ulterior motives. Because mm-hmm. yeah. she wants to keep the veil in. Because they got the veil soldiers are still there, mm-hmm. which is crazy to think about that the veil is sitting there open. And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming not all of them. They probably kept probably half of them back to protect, yeah. you know, stuff going on, you know. Um, but I don't know her long thing with Littlefinger. He's trying to get yeah. move I, something around. I think she's going to she's gonna end up using him. She might end up killing him. Yeah. He's probably going to, if she doesn't kill him directly, he's probably going to die because of something. And she, she does. She, does. A choice. Mm-hmm. she may not even, may do some Cersei shit, because Cersei ain't never killed nobody for real. True, yeah. She mm-hmm. just, like, kind of pawns it off yeah. on whoever else. Because I'm trying to think, who was, the first person she killed was in the, she's never killed nobody by her hands, has she? Cersei? Like, her actual mm-hmm. one. She's never personally killed nobody. They, I guess they imply she... Was poisoning Robert, but she didn't. But at the same yeah, time, but, she I mean, set but, him up to get. Yeah, she set him up to get. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she didn't actually directly yeah. do it. I don't think she's directly. Yeah, she's always anyone. been just a person making another move. For, maybe that's what it is. Though. She yeah. puts him in a position too. Kind of like she's like the like the Gambino crime family. There you go. <laughs> you know, you know. just just happened. I said some things to some people, and now he's dead. You know, it's just things. I mean, do y'all agree with him giving the land back to the people that kind of? Had betrayed him to a certain extent with the car starts and um, he needs them. Yeah, and you kind of it's like in the, like you said the mafia. It's like if there's another mafia family falls off, you kind of want like the uncle or somebody to like kind of keep it streamlined mm-hmm. of yeah. like these people. Like you don't want to have to install a new group. It's like if you come into a company as the CEO and you fire everybody. What some people do do like a hostile takeover and like we are firing everybody, but you kind of want to keep the accountant here. You might want to keep somebody here, but you only got to worry about. Redoing, restructuring everything because you're trying to set up something else, mm-hmm. and that's how I kind of thought he was kind of yeah like I, doing. I think he's looking and their kids too. It's like I can fucking manipulate this. Yeah, <laughs> they, I mean they're clearly gonna and and they're gonna owe him. Yeah, that yep. that ten year old kid stood up there and swore allegiance and will always remember that. And he and gave me my tell, shot. I'm the man yeah. when I go back because yeah. I give me that and shot. And he'll tell his kids, and they'll tell you know it's a way to. And I in that situation, I agreed with what you were talking about earlier about how the two of them, the conflict was so realistic of the competition between both of them wanting to have their say. Mm-hmm. Um, but I totally agreed with his call. On yeah, that, yeah, to, yeah, to let them. To let them keep that, to let them fight for him. That's how you breed loyalty. Is like when yeah, somebody right. fucks up, you don't just can them. You give them another mm-hmm. chance. I think that's what that was. And like you said, you need those families. Those are families there. So it's like that. I mean, they probably about that. And the car starts are pretty big. So it's not like yeah. the and Glovers or somebody else. Like was well, like fifty people. They got a nice mm-hmm. amount of people. He doesn't need to go around making any more enemies at the moment. No. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. He's got a lot. Like, that's the same thing Daenerys did with giving mm-hmm. um, the Greyjoys back. Um, the Iron Islands. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's absolutely right. It's yeah. it's a similar leadership mindset. So they'll be a very nice couple, Uncle and or no, sorry, Cousin? Aunt and Wait. no, it's Aunt and nephew. I think. Is that the relationship? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. With the great No, uh, Daenerys, Daenerys and John. Because John? John's Rhaegar's. So his, sorry, is she his aunt and nephew? Because yeah, John's Rhaegar's son, right. and Rhaegar's her brother. brother. So yeah, that's, his, that's okay. his aunt that 
his, his brother. Half brothers. <laughs> well, well, half half brothers. Somebody <laughs> else was speculating that when John and Sansa find out that they're not brother and sister, that, that they'll, they're going to oh, marry. Oh, no, man. He's like, no, man. Kid. That's like growing up with a chick. Like, right. Nah, well, that on. and they're still cousins. Yeah. 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 What are you <laughs> No. I mean, in that world, cousins is like, it's all good, you know, if you want to. If you want to do something, I will. I mean, I, I'm not forcing you. And I'm not really like, you know. But, but if you want to, you know, it's open. <laughs> They're keeping you out. You can just yeah, it's kind of like soft selling. Yeah, it's, like, it's a very yeah, soft I'm sell. Not. You're not hard selling at all. Though. You're not, really like, not like I'm going to really call you or nothing. No, I'm going to listen to Ravens or nothing. Because if you happen to be in my area, you want to drink a little wine. And discuss the old times when we used to go to, you know, Heron Hall for the tournament. I'm here for you. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. Uh-huh. You didn't have anything better to do. Exactly. exactly. But that could squash some of the animosity between them because then she'll know that her father didn't cheat on her mother. Which was part of the reason. Then she'll also be like, that's true. Then. There was always some resentment there over that. But yeah. I think also the other part is she'll be like, I'm the rightful heir to fucking the North though too. Yeah, but he's, she'll, she'll but say he's that the he's rightful heir to all of it. So right, right, right. I know, yeah, but I can see her being <laughs> like, well, no, I'm the only rightful heir left. It's me. Well, yeah. Except Bran. Well, they, they, I don't know about Bran. I mean, they, I mean, Bran. Ain't <laughs> he's anybody. a three-eyed raven. Yeah, he's somebody else. He <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got bigger fish to fry. I think. Yeah. yeah, I could see I could see Sansa ending up with the North. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Arya's not gonna fuck with it, is she? Nah, I think Arya just wants to go around murdering people. Yeah. <laughs> she needs to check off her list. Yeah. Who else is left other than uh, I think Cersei? The hound. Cersei, the hound. It's the no, hound. She, took she, the thinks hound. she thinks she, took she, thinks she took dead. the hound. Yeah, she thinks he's dead because she left him. Let's talk about him a little is, bit. Uh, is uh, Jamie's on there, isn't he? I think so. I think Jamie is on there. Cersei's Thursday. on there. Is the mound? Yep. The yeah. mound's on there. Which he's sort of dead already, but. Yeah, man. He's a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the hound. I think he's redeemed himself. I really like him now. I think he's gonna become Dario next. Like he's gonna be brought back to the dead. Like he Dario's gonna, I think they're gonna swap Lady Stoneheart for him. Oh, for the hound. That, that the hound. He, the, you know how he said he gave his ability up to come back. Yeah. I think it's gonna be swapped out for the hound. Ah. So is he a man he, of faith yeah. now and the Lord of Light? I think he will be. And then I was I was uh, reading a thing about. It. They were saying that I guess when you come back, you are technically a white. Hmm. So like Jon Snow is part white. Yeah. Interesting. You're, you're, you're just as... Not make, so they're saying that Dario, he's been brought so many times, he's closer to the whites that there are the white walkers are with. Mm-hmm. But he's on a red, the side of the, the side of the red, the red guy, which is why he's, he's different. He's not like them. Mm-hmm. So you think the hound's going to die and then come back again? And he's going to give up his life for the hound can come back. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, could, I could see that. He's definitely yeah, becoming but, a more admirable and compassionate yeah. character, though. Yeah, which is which is cool because I mean I I think I don't know if he's in the very first episode, um, but when the Lannisters arrive at uh, Winterfell, he's he's in that group yeah, that arrives in, with mm-hmm. them, and he's just like the thug. He's like the yeah, muscle. he has you know, shit. And just, and, yeah, and he's like scary bodyguard number three. Is yeah. like his own, you know, it's like <laughs> right. if you're like. Doing the cast, like, yeah, you don't even know. You don't even pay attention. To and it. now he's like a major character, and yeah. like kind of, you know, kind of like an emotional part of the mm-hmm. show. You've seen him go through that change. You've seen mm-hmm. him grow into no longer a murdering monster, which I guess is how the scale we're using in this yeah. in this world. Um, it was nice to him, you know, because and I didn't remember this since I wrote about it after the fact, but, like, the, the father and daughter in that yeah, house, he, those he are the killed, ones he robbed. basically. Yeah, because he robbed the dad and then left him. And Yeah, which was, yeah. like, three seasons ago. Right. Um, but it was it was neat to have that circle back in that kind of a way for that character moment. And it makes you yeah. wonder how far ahead they think of these yeah, things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because it was interesting because he's the only one, like, <laughs> yeah, I want to go in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. no we were, he, we were like, what, everybody's like, what are you talking about? Like, nobody's there. <laughs> yeah, but he had enough remorse and respect to want to to want to bury them. Yeah. 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 That was that was neat. I liked the way they brought him back last season. I don't yeah. like what they've turned him into. Mm-hmm. I mean, and this, but from the very beginning of the books, that's what they do. They turn these, they take these characters that <laughs> you hate, you hate so much, and yeah. they show you enough of them that you start to at least 
understand where they're Yeah, like from. Jamie, Jamie and Theon. I think it yeah. both kind of redeemed themselves. And I, you know, those are characters you thought you would hate forever. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jamie, like, the first thing he does is cripple Bran. Yeah, he right. throws a little kid out of a window. <laughs> and now you're like, yeah, you know, of the two, he's really not bad. Yeah. But that's because Cersei's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys think about the whole Jamie Cersei uh, kind of thing? Did you, did you guys see how they were standing on the map? Yeah. Where he was standing on the fingers, she was standing on the neck. Ah, I didn't notice that. Oh, wow. No, I didn't notice that. Part. Yeah, he's standing on the fingers of, the, of Westeros. She's standing on the neck. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if that's, um, I wonder if that's foreshadowing yeah. anything. And it, I mean, it probably is, yeah. but I wonder I mean, exactly what they're... Yeah. I mean, yeah. gotta be, that prophecy got to come, come to... There's that. nothing in her that, like, is human anymore. Her kids are dead now. She, I don't even know what she's even doing. Right. Like, what, what is her... Like, she has no motivation. Hate. Yeah. It's her motivation. <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, it'll get you a ways. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be interesting to see... Because I think you're right that he probably is going to kill her. Mm-hmm. It's going to be interesting to see what she does that crosses the line for him. Because she already just blew up, like, the, Half the, scene. the sept or whatever and it was. Female, like, it's so funny hundreds that, of people in it. It's so funny. When, when Arya was talking to the uh, the Lannister uh, guardsmen, and they, remember, they were shitting on King's Landing like it was shitty. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. half the city's all fucked up. Remember, they were like... It's, yeah. like, it's like going to East St. Louis. It was talking about like it was East St. Louis or something. Like, uh-huh. this is all fun. It used to be fun. I heard it was really nice. We get there. It's shitty. Yeah, you know, it's just terrible. I, I wanted to visit this, and it's gone now. And, you know. Mm-hmm. So, is this the city. She, I think the city is crappy. Yeah. yeah. She, they, they show that, I think, more thoroughly in the books. Because he's up yeah, yeah. He shows it more thoroughly in the books. Because he's got more time for it. Um, the effects... The, the, I guess the extent to which she is really terrible at leading. Yeah, like oh, yeah, she doesn't the, the do money, anything. They don't show how much money they lose. And yeah. much, they don't really show yeah. as much they money. Yeah, they don't, they don't go on. into it. But, like, she's, like, she's not good at managing. She doesn't do any. She doesn't follow the budget. She doesn't do anything that you need right. to do to keep a kingdom running. <laughs> right. What was, did you send Tyler that article you posted about, um, it was analyzing from a black person. Oh, yeah, yeah, the black, yeah, the black, yeah, yeah. And oh, it it's talks the best about thing. how the Lannisters are like the Trumps, where people <laughs> think they have all this money, but they don't. don't <laughs> they they know, which is the best, the best analogy for the Lannisters. Yes. <laughs> and then it was, who they say Jamie was? Which Trump did they say he was? It might be Eric. Yeah, it's like the one that nobody even deals with. Yeah. That's but it's, funny. And it's, but I, I think it's going to be something to do with the, um, Castle Rock getting overtaken because if you look at the previews, the uh, the Unsullied like run over everything Castle Rock, mm-hmm. and I wonder if it something has something to do with that. Hmm. Yeah. I don't even know if it's going to be anything major because you can tell by the way that Jamie is looking at her now that he knows that she's got to go. <laughs> so it could just be like for the greater good kind of thing. Yeah, which is which is kind of interesting because that's why he got the title Kingslayer. Kingslayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he did it for the you know he was yeah. like. Okay, he's gonna blow up the whole city and kill everybody, or I can just kill this guy and break my vow. I guess I'll do that. Yeah. So it would be very in keeping with him to mm-hmm. finally put his foot down about. And okay. Or does enough. he send a raven to like Tyrion, like, "Yo, I'm trying to do this," or like plotting from the inside and like, "I know where y'all let. I'm not bullshitting. Like, you know, this yeah. is what we want to do." And he's plotting with Tyrion on that side. Hmm. Yeah. I, Interesting. I don't see him as a. I just don't think Jamie's as interested. Or in that Tyrion kind of schemes, it. maybe, and, and contacts Jamie. Yeah, and, <clears throat> and Tyrion might, but I don't think Jamie's going to kill Cersei because Tyrion wants him to. I yeah, think he's going to come to that decision on his own. And then I can't see Tyrion doing anything like that unless Daenerys is 100% on board with contacting Jamie for some reason that would help her. Mm. He's very loyal to her now. I mean, you can get Castle Rock, though. He probably would be like, yo. <laughs> we finna get run over. We ain't got no money. We ain't got no food. We ain't got shit. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> we might need. I, and I want to say Castle Rock because that's what I think is his ends up what's happening to him. Period. I think he's going to be the ward of Castle Rock at the at the end of all this. Yeah. And just kind of try to bring up the Lannisters and get them get their name back. Mm-hmm. You know, get their name back back good. Mm-hmm. Um, do y'all think Euron 
Who do y'all think Neuron is going to bring? That's what I was just about to ask. I think it's one of the Sand Snakes. Well, Tyler oh. says it. Really, one of the Sand Snakes. Because I think well, it's, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's a character that you would know and identify, but it's not a big character where it'd be like, oh, like they got them. Yeah. But it's an identifiable character enough that you could throw them that, away at the same time. That makes a lot of sense. That's somebody reasonable for him to grab. Because I yeah. had either read or heard somewhere that like they were theorizing maybe Tyrion, mm-hmm. but I don't see how he could capture Tyrion. Right. But yeah. he could definitely get one of the Sand, sand Snakes. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Or a and couple probably, of them. Probably the, he'd probably get the mom because she's the one that ordered the, the daughter. Head, yeah, on the daughter. Um, um, the daughter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know her name. Um, yeah. I, so that'd be that. Yeah, I could I could definitely see it being that. Yeah, I thought Sansa, but um, I could definitely. See yeah, it but you got they got to go all the way up north yeah. to get Sansa. Yeah. And to get Tyrion, you got to get through all the Unsullied. Mm-hmm. You got to get to you know yeah, you got to right. you got to yeah you got a lot to get through to get Tyrion. So that's why I figured that Dorne yeah. was probably sitting there. They thinking everything's all good because you know, yeah. and everybody left, mm-hmm. and they yeah. can sneak in there through one of them ports around the back end, yeah. and grab grab some of the sand snakes. That, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, um, it's gonna be interesting to see what that magic fleet that they apparently made out of <laughs> nothing, uh, <laughs> where that ends up going. Because, I mean, I, are we gonna get an entire episode of a pitched battle between the two giant fleets, or is Euron gonna end up? deciding to throw in to save the world, like, you know, doing basically becoming a hero because it's to his advantage to do so. Or did he say, fuck it, we just going back to the Iron Islands and y'all figure it out. Yeah, yeah, or just, just bailing. <laughs> yeah, and just like, we, we out of here. about his way. Or, or, or raiding Marine or someplace else mm-hmm. that's far away. Or that would be crazy if he did that. Well, what's in Marine for him now? Mm-hmm. I mean, you Lots can just go, it's a lot of stuff. He's I mean, a pirate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he talked. Do you all think about him shading Jamie? Like how he was like, you know, two oh, hands yeah. and all uh-huh. that. That was funny. I mean, it, it's just a, a, a known thing they fucking now, huh? Before it was a secret. Now it's just yeah. open. And they, everybody, everybody just knows that it's I a. Think it's not a secret no more. That it's, yeah, I, guess I think so. everybody <laughs> always suspected it. They just are being feel like they can say it now. Yeah, yeah. It's like it was yeah. probably like you used to have to whisper it because mm-hmm. Tywin would cut your head off. Yeah, mm-hmm. and now you can just say whatever you want. You think Tywin knew this? Um, I think that he would murder people if they were talking about it. But I'm saying, I don't do you know him personally, do you, or do you think he acknowledged it? Did he really? You think he like knew? He deep probably inside? suspected it, but didn't want to admit it. Just like yeah. anything with any parent, where you like, yeah. uh, my kid's not on cocaine, like you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My twins I mean, aren't fucking right. Each other right. Yeah. Kids. He's not coming yeah. in stealing money from me at night, and, at night and leaving back out. Yeah, I must have just lost that hundred fifty dollars I had in my wallet. Right. I probably yeah. that that somewhere. Was, Whatever. I won't ask any questions. About yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what what's funny about that too is like going back to Taiwan and the and the, the Lannisters. I read a theory that Tyrion is actually also a Targaryen. I've, I've heard, I, I've I, heard I, I can see that too, too though. And, um, so and that'll be interesting that he to was, see. I was hearing that his wife cheated with a uh, Targaryen, mm-hmm. yeah. and that's why he was pissed more than anything. Not because of the fact that she died, mm-hmm. but the fact that he cheated on me with somebody else, and then you know, period. Like and he then didn't give a fuck about. And gave me a dwarf that I have to take care of. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because I gotta say, I gotta say, save face for the Lannister name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, like, I guess his last words were basically like, "You're no son of mine." Yeah. To Tyrion when he shot him. Yeah. So well, who, who, which Lan- which, uh, which Targaryen could it have been then? Was Rhaegar rolling like that? I, th- I think <laughs> it would have been. I th- it probably would have been that game. So he's probably if that. If that holds, then he's Danny's brother, half brother, brother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, hmm. and Jon Snow's uncle. Yeah, interesting. So that, yeah, that'll be that'll be interesting. How I think that the three out? of them are definitely like the end. Game. Like yeah. all three of them, I think, are surviving yeah. until at least the last episode. Yeah, they might die in the last episode, mm-hmm. one, two, or more. Um, Do you see the White Walkers winning winning the war? That seems like kind of a downer, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> See, I, I got a theory. I think that Jon Snow becomes the uh, Matt, the, the, the Night wife, King. The Night King, but it's a protection thing, though. Like, where you kind of like you guys watch the Flash TV show? No, uh, I have. I've, I've not. Well, seen it's, 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 it's well in the TV show, The Flash. He had to replace himself to for them, like with an, where another Flash was at for things to be okay. But he was protecting that for no one else to get hurt. Oh, so he okay. so there has maybe there has to always be a king a walk, night walker king, but he if he's the thing though he could protect it and keep it keep, keep it contained. Keep it Basically, he'd take the role and take them back north. Of exactly, the and huh. and that's where it would be bittersweet. 
Yeah. Do you keep your personality though when you become one? No, because he, the, the reason I was thinking that the, the the theory that he's already halfway a white uh, because he was raised from the dead that he's not a full man that he can do that okay. and he might find out like well shit like um the person that saved Bran. Oh, oh yeah, the ranger. Uh, oh yeah, his uncle. Yeah, yeah, the, the uncle. Yeah, I'm forgetting his name. Uh, Benjamin. Benjamin. Yes, yeah, thank yeah. You. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Same thing. It'd be the same kind of thing, mm-hmm. where he would just kind of you know be able to. Yeah. Maintain stuff from outside. Yeah, I could see that. Then he can raise uh, the redhead from the dead too, and they can go not have <laughs> Where's not she? have children Where together. She? Where y'all think she is? Do you think she became oh, a I, white wolf? I think she's just dead. Or did he? Did he burn her body? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he burned her okay. body. Okay. Do you all think that the giant is his giant that they show the one white one? walker giant? No, no, yeah, he's one he... the one from Heart Home, I think. Yeah, because one okay. one died at at the at Battle Winter of the Bastards. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But so. I think it's the one that died. At the at, at the heart home, oh, okay. yeah, because it was two of them at heart home. Yeah, yeah, and they showed. I, I think they showed. And then maybe I don't know yeah. where the other one came from. Did we just? I guess from another time because it was two of them that showed walking. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming one of them came from heart home. Yeah, okay. from heart home. Hmm. Yeah, so that's that's gonna be interesting. I think. I mean, I, I think the wall is going to fall. Or does it metaphorically fall though? Oh um, yeah, mine. It's going to be interesting to see, I mean, they're obviously going to breach it in yeah, some fashion. That's what I mean. It's, it's going to be interesting to see when that happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could see, because we're doing like, there's 12 left. We're doing, I think, six more? Six more, seven this season, yeah. Se- yeah, so seven and then five. Mm-hmm. Um, so I could see like the last image of this season, this just short season, some... being them like either charging through or the wall coming down and them just like flooding the north. Mm-hmm. Um, I could see that it ending there, and we deal all all of all of everything yeah, we have to deal with, yeah. and then the last five are that war basically. Hmm. Um, but the only reason I, I wonder if they don't even never even fight the White Walk. A part of me thinks that there's never going to be a big battle of the White Walkers. Yeah, because it's it'd be kind of unless there's going to be some stuff going on behind the scenes. But it's like it's kind of boring. Then we're just fighting the White Walkers. There's nothing else. There's no other trickeration, no movement around in the background for jockeying for power or anything like that. This is we trying to beat the white. Which yeah, is, what's the point? Yeah, what's of the that? Kind of, and they're not—they don't have any personality. It's not like somebody's going to meet with one yeah, of them. Like, they're not broker a truce or something like that. Right. So yeah. that's the only thing that makes you wonder. Like, is, unless it is just a massacre, and then Samwell saves the day with the, the dragon glass. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, whoever that, finds it. But what's interesting though, to even go back to, and we can go into Daenerys with this. Why did no one, they placed no one on the throne of Dragonstone? Like that, that it was just, weird. I was completely empty. That, and, and, but, and also, it makes you show how much Stannis was a, was a dumbass mm-hmm. because that is probably the most viable resource in all Westeros right now is that area. It's Dragonstone now mm-hmm. with all that dragon glass on it. But he, remember, he hated it. Remember, he felt like his brother was dissing him by giving him that. Yeah. But it was the best gift he could have right. got was that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That has the most resource of the dragon glass. Yeah. You know, there. And it's interesting, he was like, he felt his brother was slighting him by giving him that. You know, I got this shitty ass castle and, you know, all this area, but now it's worth all the most in the world. Yeah, it's <laughs> the most important spot that, most important that spot. we're aware of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, and to just, I guess they just completely abandoned it. Yeah, I mean, even the rest of the lands, who's running everywhere around Dragonstone, though? Like, yeah. all those lands, the, the, the Baratheon lands around that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe he just decided to put all his. And I'm sure there's people around farming the land. Or but I mean, but there's no one. So, but there, yeah, there's no, there's no one in the castle whatsoever. I was expecting when they got there, somebody to open the door. There was like a, yeah. like a welcoming party. Yeah, for them, and basically just surrendering like ceremonially. But yeah. The fact that it was completely empty was kind of weird. Well, I mean, you got to think Stannis basically took out the Baratheons as a household at this point, right? Damn, I mean, all the Baratheons are dead except for. Um, Gentry at this point, right, really? Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the bastard really? running around somewhere. He's the, they say he's coming back he's this coming season. He's coming back this mm-hmm. season? Okay. Which is, he's probably, he's the heir. He's the only heir left. Yeah. I mean, he, and he has a claim to the, 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 the Iron Throne, too, if you want, if technically. But you put him on Dragonstone. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Then you have a Mary Arya. That'd be something yeah. crazy there. And he was, he was learning smithing. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I could see him coming back as... Putting together the is swords for them. Yeah, as knowing, as being the individual that knows how to make the weapon, right? Out of dragon glass? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I could, I well, could they, see he's that. in Westeros, though. The, the, I mean, the, not, he's in, he's in King's Landing. 
Remember, they, he said going to King's Landing is hide and just smoked him with the people. Yeah. Nobody knows who you really are like that. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be interesting that to see to do that when he sent him on. It'll be interesting to see where where he comes up when he does that. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, they took a lot of pieces off the board when they killed the High Sparrow and Marjorie. Oh, yeah, when they killed it, yeah, they killed, they took um, a lot of pieces, yeah. And they took a lot of pieces off the board, but there's still a lot of, you know, there's still a lot of moving parts. And they took a lot out with, I mean, the phrase now, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, that yeah. was a whole... Yeah, yeah, which was great. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think it's like, Cersei's bad at governing because you, like, it's like being a president, like Trump now, and you don't have people, you don't, don't have, like, it's not having, like, a, a secretary of economics. Oh. Like, you're supposed to go place people in these other spots. Like, if it's an opening, I need to put someone there to govern that area. Yeah. So I, mean, I should be sending someone to the phrase to the twins, and putting somebody on there and sending the army there to secure it, and we need to get this back in order, figure out what's going on. Yeah, because we have to Whoever's control, gonna be we have to control yeah. the neck of the land. Or, right, or putting there somebody now, in it? Dragonstone. Yeah, yeah this, this, should been a long, this is three years, two, three years later, nobody's been there? Yeah, they should They should have recognized that, hey, Stannis abandoned this, we need to hold this castle. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they were, Maybe they thought Stannis had some, well, they should have known that. People didn't have birds, every, little birdies everywhere to know that that was abandoned. They knew yeah. it was abandoned. Yeah, I mean, it, as far as you can tell, it's like news travels pretty fast. Yeah, and it was like abandoned, abandoned. Like, like tumbleweeds was in there. And yeah. like uh-huh. Stuff was knocked over. It was an old newspaper from like 10 years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was like they, they, <laughs> just, like, they, <laughs> they just like fled. Yeah, yeah was, Stannis was, had everybody roll out, man. Uh, yeah, that was, that was interesting. And it just, um, I, I think that what sums that up is when Cersei says she's the queen of the Seven Kingdoms and Jaime says... Three at best. <laughs> right. Um, really, really. We lost. We just lost up. the twins too. We lost the twins too. So yeah. So they've got, they've got Casterly Rock. They've got High Garden, sort of. Is do they really Is have High Garden? Kings Latin in? Um, I mean, they they <laughs> had it. Uh, didn't they go in and? Did he get them to agree to surrender? I don't remember. Yeah, they don't get what the, what's your, the black the Blackfish, but that surrender. Yeah, but no, that he was, died. Yeah, the Blackfish died. Yeah, but and then Edmund, I thought Walter Frey yeah. said that he had Ed Muir back and he was holding him. I thought they. I thought Ed Muir stayed at the at that. He said like towards the end of the last episode that he didn't deserve to have, and like he ended up bringing him back as a prisoner. Oh wow! Yeah, so I mean, maybe they've got maybe they're holding High Garden. But it's still, it's not enough. So it's, th- like you said, three at best. So you're too much, late, you know, because they ain't got nothing in the north. Yeah. And I guess it'd be King's Lane and Casterly Rock and High Garden, which is tough because... One of them is the capital, so it's really by default. Like, yeah. if you're there, you kind of got that one. And they've got that that middle swath with Dorne, which is yep. generally hostile to the south, um, and a whole lot of people that hate them a whole lot north of them. Um, so, yeah. What is Thirsty's plan with these children that helped burn the city to the ground? Um, that killed. Uh, that came. Oh, in, all the, and, yeah, all all the all little birds or whatever. They're, yeah, they're just, they're just those guys that want the that maesters people. Right, but do they have a plan for them? I mean, because that could be there could be a uh, I mean, brilliant yeah. way to use them. These kids, yeah, <laughs> sneaking all. Over I mean, because they helped her burn the city yeah. to the ground. So yeah. she sees. I think she sees the power in using children. Sadly. Yeah, I mean, she'll. Does she marry Euron? Does she marry Euron? I I, I don't see it. I I see her string him along. Yeah, I see her (laughs) using him up. I I really don't think she's gonna go for it though. I just think she's too. She's just not interested in that. Mm -mm. She wants his resources. Yeah, because he's got ships. I mean, because they don't they don't have any resources, man. Like they're broke as shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they they've got basically nothing. And 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 do they go into the into it in the series at all? I, I don't remember uh, about the fact that their gold is like Casterly Rock is like out of gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's right. That's yeah. right. Um. So yeah, they've got. I mean, not a lot of the, of the remaining. You know, Cersei, is Cersei. But I don't. I think they're gonna have the hardest time asserting themselves, really, because they just don't have the resources. Yeah, like, when, when that was one thing that Sansa was talking about. She was going to send some troops. She can't send no troops. Yeah. Like, what, what troops she going to send to the north at this point? Like, what? Yeah, unless <laughs> she's going to just abandon, she, she's going to pull a Stannis and completely abandon one of the castles. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, which I suppose could happen. 
Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the Twins because the Frays are done, and so is, is anyone in a rush to seize that? And if so, who? I mean, Danny might jump on that, and then you've got her pushing but West to Grant across the so you, but, but she, if she was, but the Twins aren't close to there though. The closest place would be uh, Castle Rock, though. It's a dragon is, stone. Is Castle Rock a girl's? Mm-hmm. I need a map. Yeah. <laughs> Castle Rock, I believe, is the closest. Deba- to debate the uh, the military strategy. Yeah. Yeah. This I'm fake island. Map. <laughs> yeah. Where, so Arya is heading to kill Cersei now. Yeah. Okay. But I think she's going to get thrown her, What is her plan? Does she know she that the know. mountain is now this zombie? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think she's just going to continue to improvise because mm-hmm. she's obviously been doing it fairly well up to this point. In time. Well, I don't, I mean, Walter, for, that was planned. That was well planned for her to kill his sons and cook them into a meal. Yeah, well, no, she, eat and then yeah, she, she definitely, like, planned that, <laughs> uh-huh. that particular part of it out. But I think mm-hmm. she kind of, she got back to Westeros and decided, okay. I'm here now. I'm here now. Okay. Where am I going first? Mm-hmm. Here's my list. Mm-hmm. And that for whatever reason was the easiest. She's almost, I mean, she's like a superhero at this point. But, yeah. As much um, as I hated that many face God story, I appreciate the skills that she acquired. <laughs> it went on, it went on a lot long. longer than I would have liked it to. Way they, too long. They could have done that in a montage. Yeah. They could, and they could have they substituted done that in two the episodes Sam, instead of two seasons. Yeah, they could have done the Sam, they could have substituted the Sam poop montage for mm-hmm. Aria <laughs> learning all the skills that she right. learned. And that would have been just fine. Right. Because <laughs> they they stretch that longer than they needed to. Yeah. the girl has no name. Oh no, just teach me how to use these faces and. Yeah, <laughs> and and one well, thing too is like you knew where it was going. Like right. she was clearly going to learn the skills and then leave. Mm-hmm. Like she wasn't going to just stay there forever. Right. So just get it over with. Mm-hmm. Let's move on. But well, they had too much of the uh, the rest of the story to tell to let her move on that quickly. Yeah, that's that's true, and they do have to keep. They wanted they wanted to keep the players out of Westeros that they needed to be out of Westeros until now. I yeah. think is probably what it was. And her coming back and Danny coming back at the same time, I think, was the plan. Mm-hmm. So I'm interested to see where they where they head with that, though. Yeah, they, I, I, King's Landing is next to uh, Storms Inn. It is right, there. It's th- that's that's where um, she landed at because um. Dorne is right there. So this is Dorn. She came in at Dorn. She's she went up this way to here, and King's Landing is right here. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So. Yes, yeah, so they're not far. So, but she could be on some like we can't attack them directly. We're gonna go all the way over to Castle Rock and take over Castle Rock, so we could take out anything that they have. Yeah, and then cut them off. From and they cut them off from all their resources, which is probably what they didn't just cut them off for their resources. Yeah. The little bit they do have. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because Old Town is on the other side, so... Okay, so yeah, so... He can get the... Uh, Samuel can get there pretty fast. He's one one side, he can get there pretty fast. So, any thoughts for next week, guys? Yeah. What do you guys think? Um, is Conor McGregor... Is, is, does he have a cameo this season? I've heard is that supposed, he... What? I never heard of that. Yeah, I heard that he was supposed to be on there, and maybe not supposed to be on there. What? Yeah. Hmm. I can't believe you haven't heard this. No! Yeah. I have no Conor McGregor? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Um, I think we're gonna get we're gonna get some more movement in the north. Hopefully, we'll see what little. I mean, Littlefinger for now. I mean, he's all he's been doing is standing around saying vaguely threatening things. So it'll be interesting to see if they're able to. Um, oh man, I can't deal with him. <laughs> if they're able to move his scheme forward, so we see what he's doing. Um, and I want to see what Danny's going to do first. I, I really hope they mm-hmm. show us that. Because mm-hmm. um, it's going to be, I think it'll help lay out where the rest of the season is headed once we see where she's going from Dragonstone. Mm-hmm. I think that's probably where it will start, too, with that shall we begin. That's what she ended with. Yeah. Amongst, uh, in front of the table. I thought that was beautiful. And that's what she said right before they ended up unleashing the dragons on the... Yeah, <laughs> on the masters that came to. Um, I mean, I don't even know what Cersei's gonna do, man. You got she got dragons, uh-huh. and then the North is united. Of yeah. North, I mean, they're yeah. united, united. Like they're behind 
all these houses up there are united. In general, it was hard as general for King's Landing to really have a hold on the North in general. That was really Ned's land, and it was just like, okay, we did not. As long as you just do what you do up there, we won't fuck with you. That's basically how it's always been. Yeah, <laughs> and they're united now, so it's they're ba- it's basically back to pre yeah. Robert uh, dying because they're all united now. It's, it's like it's like taking Russia. Like, yeah, they're, 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 not, yeah. they're not going to do it. Exactly, nobody's invaded the north. Yeah. Except for uh, and the Targaryens didn't even invade the North. Then they did the the firstborn just gave up. They just like yeah, we down with Targaryens. Yeah, they, they just, never invaded. They, they never invaded. Seated, yeah, they never invaded the North even. So yeah, yeah, you're just you're not gonna win doing it. So yeah, that'll be that'll be that'll be interesting. Oh, I'm excited for this. Yeah, movie. yeah. any any deaths any surpri- any deaths next week out there? Oh. oh. There'll probably be at least one semi big one. They've got to keep ratcheting up the tension, <laughs> you know. Um, and from here on out, there'll be. It, it, I don't think it's going to be like a major yeah. player, mm-hmm. but there'll probably be a major character. Yeah, maybe the red woman. Dies. Mm. John sent her away. Would he send her south? Is that where he told her to go? So I don't know who she could run into. Yeah, he's in herself, so it could be anybody. We know the mountain's been torturing that nun woman. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you've been raping her too. You've been getting oh. zombie dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's having an unhappy life. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, well, I think it's going to be one of the sand snakes, but I think specifically it's going to be the one that was on Iron Fist. She's already on another TV show. Oh. <laughs> like, they're gonna show I think they're going to show her yeah. head. Like, just show her head. Like, Isn't gonna... it Tommen on Iron Fist? Though? Somebody? Oh, no. Yeah. It's, no it's, it's not Tommen. It's, it's uh, the brother. Oh, yeah. The Lawrence. Brother. Lawrence. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's how I knew he was going to yeah. die, though, because I was like, he's got a hold of a TV show. Right. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to go like that, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I knew he was going to be dead. I was like, oh, he's going to be dead. He's got a TV show, like multiple yeah. TV shows. Right. So I think it's going to win the stance thing. They're going to bring her head out or something. Like, it's not even going to be her. It's going yeah, to be her head. Yeah, she's going to the head. Yeah, and he's going to just roll it out. Or may, may, what if he shows up with all their heads? Oh, yeah. Shit. That'd, be, that that'd be pretty impressive. That'd be pretty damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up with everybody's head, all the stance thing's head. Yeah. yeah. Just like rolls them out of a basket or something. What exactly is their plan with Lady Tyrell? Lady Tyrell's just got the money. She just bankrolling this shit. Right, but what's their plan? What do you mean? Do we know it yet? The Sand Snakes? And why? And what oh, no, conversation no, she's a, she's... They, that when um, oh, the bald man, I'm forgetting his name, when he came there and... Oh, you're talking about uh, Varys. Yes, Varys. Well, he's just a broker. You know, he's just like, okay, what was going on? The Lady Tyrone's is basically, she got the money, she got the, uh-huh. the food. I just want this to happen. I'm just an investor. I ain't going to be out here. I probably no, won't send no men. I probably won't send no men. Yeah. I'm just going to bankroll. Whatever y'all want to get done, just come to me to get the money, but and I'll there, make it happen. Is, is he brokering some sort of plan between them and Daenerys? Because he left Dorne and yeah. then met back up with Yeah, Yeah, Daenerys, he, brokered, so. he brokered everything. Okay. He's the one. I think he's the one that got everything. Like, oh, you mad at Cersei now? Let me go visit her. They pull you in. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the Sand Snakes. I guess they are. They really running door. I don't even know who's running door. But hey, you're running door now. So you want? We gonna hook you up with them. Let them in. But that was a very you know. specific plan, though, because he had a conversation with Tyrion about what he was getting ready to do. And Tyrion says, "Are you sure you can do this?" And then he goes to Dorn. But we, I still don't know if I understand. Yeah, what. yeah. I, See, don't I, know, mean, Tyrion, I don't know if it's revealed yet. Okay. The killing, killing the uh, the Dornish king. Do you think that was always a plot, or do you think that Snat Snake just did that out of spite and mad? mad she because said they weak didn't, men would never. Yeah, because run they, they didn't ride on ride back on King's Landing for yeah. over a hundred I think I think that was, it's, that was just a sudden yeah. thing. That was an emotional kill. That wasn't even plotted. You know? Yeah, I don't think that was like I don't think that was strategic. Okay. I think as soon as the king showed a sign of weakness, the plan started. Did he show a sign of weakness though? Really? Was it when he welcomed? Um, Jamie. Yes. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Or, or, no, I thought she was more mad that she didn't ride, they didn't ride off Oberyn when he got killed. Yeah, that too. You know, but it is what it is. So. Mm-hmm. Everyone email us. Let us know what you think. Um, we will be back next week with another great recap episode.